Hi everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at the features and highlights of Cyanogen mode 10.1 Now the version which I am currently running here is 10.1.3 So this one has the Cyanogen mode accounts feature added to it We are going to take a look at this one as well So let us begin So let us start off with the walk screen When you first install Cyanogen mode 10 this is what you should get So this is the default walk screen So when you hold When you hold the key walk at the bottom you immediately unlock But if you swipe it somewhere for example, um, left or right or at the top, as you can see, now we have the shortcuts here. This is the browser, the dialer, the music player, messaging, and the key walk to unlock it. You can also change this from the settings. We're going to take a look at this in just a bit anyways. You also have pages with widgets which you can add here. For example, if you swipe, if you go to the left side, as you can see, this one is empty here. So you can just add whatever you wish here. For example, you can add a, a calculator for quick calculating in case you do math and stuff such as that um, you can also add a clock a weather widget but you already have that on the center page you can also add an email widget or gmail to take a quick look at the latest messages you have received you can also have google now widget messaging torch google post post so let's just do a test i'm gonna do gmail for example inbox choose inbox i'm gonna place it here now as you can see whenever i'm going to be scrolling to the left page I'm always going to be up to date with the new messages which I received. On the right side you also have a quick access to camera. So when you scroll to the right side you immediately have the camera app opened. So this can be turned on and off by a setting which you can find in the settings app. Now as I mentioned earlier if you wish to change the shortcuts into your uh, central walk screen page you can go into settings then walk screen and now here as you can see you can see how you have some options here for example camera widget show the camera widget to the right of the unlock screen so you can also actually turn this off like i said and you also have slider shortcuts now these are the ones which i mentioned so as you can see now you can long press here and you can slide the key walk to any of these apps here which you want to replace for example i don't want the music player so place it there and as you can see now it says apollo which is what it opens i'm gonna tap here and you can either choose some kind of widget, a direct dial contact, or you can choose a, a particular application. For example, I want quick access to the gallery or Gmail, okay? I misclick, but yeah, whatever. Now, as you can see, I've got the Gmail icon in there. You can then just save and exit. Walk your phone. And as you can see now, the new shortcut is there. Now here is a neat status bar pulling trick, it is to either open up the notification screen or the quick setting toggle buttons. So there are actually two methods of doing this, now method 1, let's call it method 1. So for, if you pull with your finger from the left side, you're gonna get into the notification screen as you can see. Now if you pull with one finger on the right side, you're gonna get the quick setting toggles. But if you pull with your two fingers, no matter where, it is either on the center, on the left side, or on the right side, when you pull with your two fingers, you get the quick setting toggles anyway. Next, we're going to take a look at the status bar notification screen settings. So let us head into settings, then go into system, and now, I actually uh, meant to say quick settings panel, not the notification settings, okay? So let's take a look at the status bar settings real quick. So, you can enable and disable the clock here, this is actually still in Jelly Bean I believe, anyways, you can also change the battery status style, um, by default when I installed Sino GMO it was a circle, but I do not prefer circles or any other icons, I just prefer the normal battery icon, so you can just switch to that or you can use percentage if you feel like it, circle or percentage like I said, so yeah, all of them are working just fine. You can also change the signal status style from an icon to a text or you can just hide it. And there is also brightness control options. So if you enable this, and now when you begin, as you can see, now it's basically like a slider which is hidden in your status bar. You cannot see it, but if you slide from left to right, you can see increase and decrease in the brightness. And you also see show notification count. So you can enable and disable. Now, as you can see here, when I enable this, you, know, can, you can notice that little circle there that shows me how much notifications I have or you can just disable it you find it annoying and next I want to show you the quick settings panel 
so if you go here now as you can see there are a lot of options here but mainly I want to show you how you can modify and change the positions of what buttons to appear and where they appear so for that simply go into tiles and layout now as you can see here this is a preview of what your current uh, quick setting toggle screen looks like quick setting paddle screen sorry um, now you can either move these things around for example you do not want the brightness option to be first but you want the settings so just one press and move it there and as you can see the other button will just get out of its way there we go and you can also obviously add more widgets if you like for example I have just added the torch which could be really useful for quick access for example you pull down your screen and you enable the torch as you can see it is working it is using your LED flash so I can add whatever you want here again for example a screen timeout toggle which you can use and you can immediately see how it applies the settings so you can change it from 30 seconds to 1 minute yeah, as you can see all of them are working just fine so the next thing which I'm going to show you is changing the transitions between scrolling through pages on your launcher now if you dislike the default mode you can just head into your settings head into launcher home screen and now when you go down a bit you can see the scrolling part here and it says transition effect open that up and now as you can see you've got a lot of things here zoom in zoom out rotate cylinder out in cubin now let's just change to one setting and let's see the changes apply and as you can see now it has a totally different effect when scrolling I'm not sure if my finger is on your way but I, I hope you can see it next we're gonna take a look at the camera app which it uses so let's open up the app so um, let's start off with this thing here showing you in which mode you currently are so you can either tap here or you can just one press and you still get the same circle with the option so just drag with your finger now wherever you want to go as you can see you can set a timer here you can change to HDR mode you can switch to the front camera uh, you can change the exposure you can go to the camera settings white balance and so on so yeah if you want to focus somewhere actually you tap with your finger and you get the sphere the sphere here as you can see obviously if you chose red it, is, it has not focused right if you chose green it has focused perfectly so let's just do a test here for example I wanted to focus to my hand there we go it is working just fine in this button here you can switch to panorama mode to video mode and again to photo mode so let's take a quick shot as you can see it is working so actually also while you're looking at your camera if you swipe from the light side to the left be sure to have it in portrait mode though if you swipe like this and also while the camera is on you can just swipe from the right side but you can you should do it quick like this and as you can see it will show you your recently taken photos and you can kind of see part of the camera on the left side so I can just begin looking at the photos here as you can see it is working just fine so the next thing is the customization of the extended power menu you can either enable it or disable it simply here into settings system and you can see here it says power menu open that up and from here you can hide and unhide options which you want to appear on your power menu when you won't press the power button so for example you can remove the reboot menu or you can have it in there you can have screenshot power profile switcher airplane mode and sound panel now when I won't press the power button as you can see it shows these exact options which have enabled here it has power off reboot profile screenshot airplane mode and so on so if for example for example if I remove the sound panel it will not appear next we've got profiles so if you head into your settings and you scroll down a bit you should see in the personal tab here profiles open that up and so this is somewhat like presets for overall settings for your phone so for example you can set a profile for at night for when you're at home or at work now let me just show you what this does so for example if you open up the settings for the default profile you can see how you can first of all set the name and you can set it which uh, connections to be on which to be turned off as you can see you can have Bluetooth on and off disabled enabled you can also set a custom uh, volume for the ringtone the media the notification sound 
you can also change the ring mode you can have airplane mode you can change the walk screen mode depending on where you are for example if you leave your phone at work somewhere you don't want anyone touching it you can just change the walk screen to a pattern or whatever and application groups here and also if you have an LFC tag you can easily just switch through it as you can see here it is so yeah once again another neat feature now the following options may have already been here in previous Synergy mod versions but I just thought I would show you head into your about phone tab and from here now if you go into Synergy mode updates you can see how you can set it to check for updates either weekly um, twice daily, daily on every boot, bi-weekly, monthly and you can also have it only showing you the updates of your choice for example you only want to receive notifications for stable versions or new versions including nightlies, only stable our versions, new versions and so on you should get it and you also have statistics now I would highly recommend that you have this enabled it really helps the CyanogenMod developers to fix bugs and other issues which you get with your CyanogenMod or new on your device. So it's really helpful. I would highly recommend that you enable this. So now that we are in the About Phone section, I just thought I would show you another cool, cool thing. That is an easter egg. Now you know that when you multiple tap on the Android version, you get the Jelly Bean. Now what happens if you multiply tap on the CyanogenMod version? Let's take a look. So this is what we get here. We've got the little CyanogenMod guy. Now if you won't press, you can see how we have many Synergy mode guys all changed in different colors and you can toss them around like this. Another cool and useful thing which you may find is a Torch app. So you do not need to download any external apps. This one simply comes with Synergy mode and as I mentioned earlier, you can actually add it here on the uh, quick setting panel or you can just access it from your app drawer. So it's a basic app, basically you open it up and here you actually have frequencies to change. I would highly recommend that you do not touch this if you don't know what you're doing. Anyways, the basic toggle for the torch is to tap on the light bulb and it powers on. You can then tap again to power it off and so on. And lastly, one of the greatest things that this ROM offers is the smoothness and stability. It's just so fast that it's unbelievable as you can see now. It is smoothly uh, scrolling through the pages and the animations and transitions and everything else is just too fast. Now watch me in the settings menu, all of a sudden I am on the home screen really fast. So yeah, I'm not saying that the stock ROM is slow, it's still fast but this one is just light in size. It has most of the, no, not most, all of the bloatware removed from it. So you don't have any useless apps running in the background, no useless processes, nothing is taking up your memory. It's very light in size and it's also... Uh, better in battery life, I mean, I remember when I used to have my touch with ROM, it would drain my battery fast. After switching to CyanogenMod, mod, I have seen a huge increase in the battery life. It now lasts much longer. And just one more thing, which has been in every CyanogenMod mod version, I just want to show you the cool CRT animation. Brilliant. So that is all, I hope you enjoyed this video, hope this quick tour of the CyanogenMod mod settings helped you a bit. Once again, thank for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.